Hello graduates, it's US Senator Dan Sullivan and congratulations on your graduation. I really wish I could be with all of you in our great state to celebrate with you. But as you probably know, there's a lot going on in Washington DC right now to get us through this unprecedented pandemic that has hit our nation, our state, and really the entire world. So I'm filming this graduation message from a place that's very, very inspiring to so many Alaskans, so many Americans. It's the rotunda of the United States Capitol. So again, I wanna say a big congratulations to all of you. You should celebrate, even if you have to social distance to do so. But I recognize, we all recognize, it's a tough time to celebrate such a momentous milestone. Now it's normal for graduates to feel joy, of course, but also a little anxiety and uncertainty at graduation. Well, the graduations this year, that anxiety and uncertainty is gonna be uh, significantly greater. There's no doubt about that because of this unprecedented pandemic that has hit our state and our country. But I have all the confidence in the world that with your leadership, we're gonna get through this crisis stronger and more resilient than ever. In previous graduation speeches, I've talked about how rewarding a life of service can be. Service to your communities, to your neighbors, to your elders, and service to your nation. But now that message is more important than ever. Not so much because service to others will be fulfilling to all of you. It will be. But now more than ever, we are gonna need your service to your community, to your nation, to your state, to your neighbors, to get us through these challenging times, to get us through this unprecedented pandemic, which we're all experiencing. We're gonna need all of you to help, as a matter of fact, to lead. Certain generations in American history have been faced with momentous challenges. The Revolutionary War, the Civil War, the Great Depression, World War II, the civil rights era. These generations have always risen to the challenge and made our country stronger. I have no doubt you will too. Already we're seeing many changes taking place in our country and many changes are taking place for the better. Our new national heroes are those on the front lines that are battling this pandemic, whether it's our healthcare workers, our truck drivers, those working in our grocery stores, in pharmacies, our clergy, our first responders, entrepreneurs and business, small business leaders, and scientists who are working on vaccines to get us through these challenging times. The value and dignity of hard work is front and center again in America. The generosity of our citizens in Alaska and across our nation is on full display. The value of close communities and connections are being appreciated like never before, even if you have to do it through Zoom. So graduates, you are entering adulthood right at the time that our nation faces one of its biggest challenges in the history of America. And we're gonna need you to get us through these challenges and you will do it. I know, I know you will do it. I am confident that every one of you will answer the call in a way that fits you and your personality and your interests the best. But in the meantime, congratulations, celebrate, enjoy this time. We are very proud of all your accomplishments and all that you have already done in your wonderful lives. So congratulations again. And by the way, congratulations to our great teachers, parents, grandparents, family members who have gotten you to this very important milestone in your life. How about a round of applause for all of them? I look forward to seeing you all back in our great state. We're very, very proud of you. Looking forward to all you're gonna do in the future.
Good evening and welcome to the first and only Palmer High School virtual graduation. We will begin by honoring our great country with the singing of our national anthem performed by senior Kaylin Ronnie. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet Good evening once again. My name is Paul Reed, and I have the honor and the privilege of being the principal of Palmer High School. I would first like to begin the ceremony by recognizing our delegates and thanking so many folks that have been a part of the journey that got our graduates to this milestone. Palmer High School is blessed. We are truly a community school, and we live in an amazingly supportive community. We are the Moose. The community rallies around this school to celebrate the successes of our students, and they are always there for support in times of need. I wanna thank the local businesses that have supported our students' activities, for the city of Palmer for sharing in the celebration of the graduates by hanging pictures of each graduate down Main Street in Palmer. Your support is appreciated and is what sets Palmer apart. The teaching staff at Palmer High School is a larger extended family. We pride ourselves on our positive school culture and our culture of caring. The heart of this effort begins with our teachers and our support staff. The school closure during COVID-19 pandemic has presented the world with many challenges. From the beginning of this transition to distance learning, Palmer High staff has been nothing short of amazing. They have proven to be adaptable and they have put the needs of the students first. I'm proud of the staff and the caring response they have shown to our students. Thank you, Palmer High staff. Parents. I would be remiss to not recognize how bittersweet this has all have been. We all want to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020. They truly are an incredibly, incredibly unique class. The support the parents and the guardians have shown during this difficult reality of not having our traditional graduation is an example of why our community is such an amazing place to raise our children. Parents, I truly thank you for the support you have shown during this difficult time. During all this uncertainty, you have been the pillars holding up the morale of our seniors. Thank you for your unwavering support you have shown. Lastly, class of 2020, you were born into this world after the events of 9-11. During the short lives you've lived, your class has seen major changes around the world. You have experienced natural disaster while in school during the earthquake of 2018. You have experienced a political divide in this country that is unprecedented and now you have experienced a global pandemic. This whole period of time during the school closure and lockdown has been surreal. It has zoomed by day by day with the monotony that few of us are used to. The adversity of this situation has taught each of us more about ourselves. Albert Einstein is credited with the quote, adversity introduces a man to himself. Adversity builds resilience and resilience is what sees us through the most difficult times. These are the times that people closest to us lift us up and see us through. Adversity can reveal our true character and depending on our beliefs and our attitudes, it can build our character. Now, during this school closure, I do realize that popular culture may have taken the lead role in your learning. It's highly probable that you may have spent more time watching Netflix than doing schoolwork. 
I have a disturbing thought that Joe Exotic from the hugely popular Netflix series Tiger King has played a greater influence on your learning than your teachers did. Well, let's just take a page out of Joe Exotic's playbook on how he dealt with adversity. Joe Exotic loves to be the center of attention. He, re he revels in self-promotion by lifting himself up while putting others down. He focuses on hatred toward his adversaries. Ultimately, his narcissistic ways of coping with adversity becomes his demise. When Albert Einstein stated adversity introduces oneself to who they really are, what he was saying is that it teaches us about ourselves. The reality is we can react in a number of ways, both good and bad. I believe that the class of 2020 will grow from this adversity we have all faced. My hope for you is that it has taught you that people matter, relationships matter. How we treat each other matters the most in life. Class of 2020, I want to thank you for being you. You are now the most unique class to ever graduate from Palmer High. I look forward to seeing you in town when we can give each other high fives, fist bumps, and maybe a proper hug when this pandemic is all behind us. The Palmer High family has missed our final days with you, but we look forward to hearing of the great things you will go out and do and achieve after you leave Palmer High School. At this time, I would like to welcome this evening's students Master of Ceremonies. This young lady has been a leader amongst her peers for the past four years through her involvement in student government. She is a region swimming champion, and she has helped to organize spirit weeks, school dances, and countless other pursuits to make Palmer High School better for her peers. She is your senior class president and tonight's master of ceremonies. Please welcome Ms. Maria Beck. Hello, classmates, families, and friends. Thank you for tuning in to the first ever, and possibly only ever, virtual Palmer High School graduation. This situation is not ideal, but thanks to the creative ideas, hard work, and collaboration of Mr. Reed, Mrs. Grover, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Akers, and all of our incredible staff members who have helped, we virtually present to you the Palmer High School Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. I was born in Anchorage and moved to Palmer at four years old. As a proud Swanson squirrel, Sherrod Glacier Bear, Palmer Junior Middle School Moose, and now Palmer High School Moose, I've gone to school with many of my classmates for the last 13 years. I never expected that this is how we would end our era in Palmer, Alaska, but the memories that I have made along the way will always remain with me. <clears throat> Looking back, I smile and laugh and cry, and am reminded of the place where I became me, alongside my classmates, teachers, friends, and family. <clears throat> Throughout these last few months, I've done a lot of reflecting. Sometimes I'm mad and sometimes I'm sad, but other times I'm happy. And I'm happy because the memories that I have made here remind me that I have been so blessed. In this situation, moving forward and parting ways with my classmates doesn't exactly feel right. <clears throat> However, we must take the good times, the memories of the people that have grown with us, and the lessons that we've learned over the past 13 years and hold on to them wherever this life takes us. The experience over the years with my classmates have been so amazing because of each of every one of them. With that being said, I've decided to share three lessons that I've learned here with you all tonight. In first grade, I learned the danger of monkey bars when I led a friendly game of follow the leader and Madeline Langing fell off and broke her arm. So I emphasize today, do not wear gloves on monkey bars, but also from this traumatic experience that caused me to not touch another set of monkey bars for the rest of my elementary school experience. I also learned from Madeline that we can overcome life's obstacles with the help and support of others. I remember when she came back to school with the pink cast and I was so amazed watching her continue to write and continue to do all of the things that we did as students, just with small adjustments. Oddly enough, this life hasn't been perfect, and I've fallen off the monkey bars a few times, or even a hundred. 
Each time I fell, it was important I let the people around me help me back up, like the recess monitors carried Madeline to the nurse's office following the incident. Life hasn't been easy and won't ever be perfect, and I still can't go across the monkey bars if we're really being honest. But each time I face a challenge, I am reminded of my community helping me through it. No matter where I go, I will always remember the people who have helped me stay on the monkey bars and picked me up when I fell. Another important lesson that I've learned is to not be afraid to face new opportunities. For example, in eighth grade, I was offered a role in the Palmer Junior Middle School movie advertising the importance of keeping the hallways clean. I debuted in my first ever film as a superhero cleaning the hallways. At first, I was apprehensive due to my inexperience in acting, but I put on my cape literally and acted. The movie was such a hit that it was shared to all of the teachers in the building and we got very positive feedback. Another time I faced a scary opportunity was when I decided to play soccer for the first time during the spring of my sophomore year. I never had played a land sport in high school, having competitively swam for nine years prior. Besides some gnarly bruises and rolled ankles, and a new understanding of my clumsiness on land, from participating in the sport, I learned a new skill and made many friends along the way. I believe that this lesson is very important moving into the next chapter of our lives. Some of us are going to college, some of us are going to work, some of us are going to trade schools, and some of us are taking new adventures. We will all be facing a world different from the one where we went to Palmer High School for four years. I think it's important that we overcome our fears and challenge ourselves to face new opportunities that will lead to surprising and rewarding outcomes. The last lesson I'd like to share is to always recognize others' generosity and to be grateful. I think we can call ourselves blessed because of the people in our Palmer community. With that being said, I'd like to say some thank yous. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for supporting me up to this point and encouraging me to want to be the best person I can be. Thank you to all of my teachers for giving me a passion to become educated and for motivating me to do my best in school. Thank you to my swimming and soccer coaches. Thank you, Mrs. Kitson, for showing me it's okay to have a B and it's normal to cry study chemistry sometimes. Thank you, Mr. Papowski, for letting me lip sync on my 13th birthday in front of the whole class to Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. Thank you, Mr. Crone, for teaching me the importance of Pi Day and for the free donuts that came with the celebration. Thank you, Ms. Henry, for teaching me the importance of MLA format and the beauty of last minute essay submissions that I never really got the chance to reread and gave you the honors of doing so. Thank you, Ms. King, for publishing my ninth grade novel demonstrating the human digestive system. It was very graphic. And thank you to all of the Palmer High School staff for being there each day for the sake of us students. Lastly, thank you to my classmates for having gone on this journey with me and to the wonderful lifelong friends I've made along the way. Each and every one of you is so important to me and I look forward to all of our futures ahead. To wrap up my portion of tonight's broadcast, i just like to reiterate these three lessons. The importance of establishing the camaraderie of community, to not be afraid of new opportunities, and to be thankful for all that we have and the experience that we've had at Palmer High School. Although it's scary going to new places, I think it's important that we establish a new community wherever we go and take the memories and lessons from Palmer to guide us through it all. I love all of you and thank God for having grown up in a place like Palmer, Alaska. The next portion of tonight is Isabel Bailey with the musical performance. Izzy is a very talented singer as well as skier and IB student. Since middle school, I've always appreciated Izzy for her friendly attitude and for always having a smile on her face. Without further ado, I present to you Izzy singing Long Live. 
said remember this moment in the back of my mind the time we stood with our shaking hands the crowds and stands went wild we were the kings and the queens and they read off our Like you knew our lives would never be the same You held your head like a hero On a history book page It was the end of a decade But the start of a this feeling I pass the pictures around of all the years that we stood there on the sidelines wishing for right now we are the kings and the queens you traded your baseball cap for a crown when they gave us our trophies Promise me this That you'll stand by me forever But if God forbid fate should step in And force us into a goodbye If you have children someday When they point to the picture Remembered.
The next speech tonight is delivered by Rosemary Toro. Rosemary and I have been friends since third grade, and I am so blessed to have such an optimistic, generous, and incredibly strong friend like her. Rosie is a versatile athlete and dedicated student. With that being said, I present to you Rosemary Toro. Okay, I see you in my imagination. I have always dreamed of the moment of graduation, sitting with my fellow peers in a gym full of all of our loved ones. One last time to be with every single Palmer High senior of 2020, an event that everyone no thinks they know exactly how it will go. I guess we are just a bit out of the loop, but this is one of the many life lessons that life has no pattern. You never know what will happen in your life. You always need to be prepared for whatever life throws at you. Although life hasn't necessarily been easy, being a student at Palmer High School, surrounded by a community that acts as a second family, prepared us to tackle life's obstacles. Community. That is what Palmer, Alaska is all about. No matter where anyone goes, there is always a familiar face. Some might think seeing people everywhere is quite annoying. I can never just go in and out of the grocery store. Whereas some might say, I sure hope I run into so-and-so at Freddy's. Whatever it may be, everyone secretly admires it. I have always known that this was a close-knit community, but this past year has proven it even more than ever. Personally, this year has been the hardest, yet most eye-opening year of my life. For those of you who don't know, I lost my mother at the beginning of the school year. Never in a million years did I think I would live through something like that. I mean, no one really does until it happens. But it just proves that you never know what life is going to throw at you. This hardship made me realize just how close-knit of a community Palmer is. I had so many people from all over the community, friends of friends, complete strangers, all of you, to help me through it. So much love was poured out to my family, and I am so thankful. Next year, we are going to new places, going on new adventures with new people. With that being said, I am so thankful to have grown up in a place like Palmer. I am so thankful to have been surrounded by all of you. The memories and many life lessons that my fellow peers and community has blessed me with will forever stay in my life. Some of my favorite memories were at the school. Some I would love to share, and others I am unable to share because I have not been graduated yet. From having my teachers make my hair appointments to my six-person class with lessons ranging from value life lessons to math lessons. From planning and attending prom my freshman year to throwing a fake prom with my friends. From being cheered on for my sporting events to cheering on the sidelines for my fellow peers. Planning dances and events in student government. So many amazing memories have been made, and I have the staff at Palmer to thank for making that happen. These last two months, there was so much to look forward to. More amazing memories. But then again, as I already stated, you never know what life is going to throw at you. We just have to take what life gives and make the most out of it. I have always lived by the phrase, everything happens for a reason. Even in this pandemic that has changed all of our lives, but look at us, seeing new ways to adapt to adversity. It just goes to show how we can make it through anything. It is moments like these that make us stronger. Every class thinks they are special, but we truly are the special class. Yes, we aren't having the typical senior year, but we get to be the first of many new events. Yes, we aren't all sitting together, throwing our caps in the air, but we are still thriving, finding new innovative ways to make things happen. Our pictures hanging down to Palmer, a flash drive graduation. So cool, right? Yes, it isn't the tradition that we were looking forward to, but we have way more to look forward to in the future. Whether that next step is to get a job, go to college, or being a world traveler, but at a much later date. If high school has taught me anything, it's that you should never take any moment for granted. Thank you everyone for making Palmer High School the best it can be. Thank you to the staff who have created a school that feels like a home. Thank you to all of our family and friends for your love and support. And thank you to the Palmer community for making this place a wonderful town to grow up in. I wish the best for all our futures, and I love you all. The next musical performance of tonight will be delivered by Michael Lovejoy. Manny is a talented multi-sport athlete in football, basketball, and soccer, as well as singer. Following, the next speech will be delivered by Sophia Nowers. Sophia is the valedictorian of the class of 2020. Throughout high school, Sophia has been an exceptional student athlete. As a student, IB candidate, runner, and skier, 
Sophia is exceptional. I present to you Manny singing purpose and Sophia with her speech. Feeling like I'm breathing my last breath Feeling like I'm walking my last steps Look at all of these tears I've wet Look at all the promises that I've kept into your hands Learn the lessons you've teach No matter when, wherever I am You're not hard to reach And you've given me the best gift That I've ever known You give me purpose Yeah, you've given me purpose Thinking my journey's come to an end mm, Sending a farewell to my friends For inner peace Ask you to forgive me for my sins Oh would you please I'm more than grateful for the time we spent My spirit's at ease I put my all into your hands Learn the lessons you've teach No matter when, wherever I am You're not hard to reach And you've given me the best gift That I've ever known You give me purpose Every day you give me purpose In every way No You are my everything No You are my everything If someone had told me in January that I would be giving a speech to a camera for virtual graduation, I probably would have thought they were insane. However, times have changed rapidly, and we're all doing things we never thought we would. Wearing a mask in public, having Zoom calls with our friends, missing going to school. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss passing periods. I miss seeing the people I've known for four years of high school because they're an important part of my life. Really, this quarantine, or social distancing, has been a lesson in how important the people at Palmer High are. What's always struck me the most about Palmer is the community here, how much everyone cares. And that has been demonstrated throughout this whole pandemic, from the continuation of traditions like prom royalty and spirit week, to the adaptation of graduation and classes to this new reality. I'd like to thank the staff of Palmer High for all their work to ensure that school continues for us, that we get to continue learning, as well as their work to give us a celebratory end to this chapter of our lives. Many of us seniors were looking forward to some event or other this spring, from prom to spring sports to graduation itself. While some of these couldn't be adapted to an online version, those that could were. And though we lose the traditional graduation in the gym and the celebration of the end of high school with those who have helped us through these years, the teachers, administrators, friends, and family members who supported us, we still get to celebrate, albeit from a distance. I'd also like to thank my fellow seniors. High school has been a journey for all of us, and we finally finished it. I wish we'd known that our last day of school would be in March and not in May. We haven't gotten the end of high school that we wanted. However, it's inspiring to see people planning the next few years of their lives, choosing colleges, trade schools, finding jobs, and creating a future beyond the current pandemic. I feel that it's a bit of a catch-22. We're counting on a future that's even more uncertain than we expected, but we'll carry into it the skills that we have learned here at Palmer High School, and I hope to see all of you someday when we can catch up face-to-face. Next will be a musical performance by Madison Drotty. Maddie is an incredible singer and mu musician who has been involved in both choir and band. Following will be a speech delivered by Mr. Evans. When we asked Mr. Evans to deliver a speech at our graduation, we knew he would embrace the humor of it 
as well as share with us a meaningful message to take along with us. Mr. Evans is an outstanding educator and coach, and we thank him for all that he does. Without further ado, I present to you Madison Drotty singing A Million Dreams and following Mr. Evans delivering a speech. I close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting up for me and that I call dark through the door through where no one's been before but it feels like home they can say they can say it all sounds crazy they can say they can say i've lost my mind i don't care i don't care so calm Graduates of the class of 2020, it is an honor and a privilege to give this address. For the past four years, I have been your science teacher, Nordic ski coach, 
lunch detention supervisor, Mr. Baker lookalike, second floor profanity police, and teacher most likely to write a letter of recommendation for you on ridiculously short notice. Tonight, however, I am the last member of the Palmer High staff who gets to share a lesson with you. And in the interest of keeping this short and simple, I thought sharing some of my favorite four letter words would be the perfect way to do that. Here goes. Plan. I graduated from high school 22 years ago. My plan was to graduate, enlist in the Army, become a high-speed combat medic, and serve my country. But that summer, instead of enlisting, I listened to my father's advice and went to college at the University of North Dakota. I've said it before and I'll say it again, not everyone should go to college. It certainly wasn't in my plans. But I do think that everyone should at least consider advice from those people in our lives who have our best interests at heart and have accumulated some life experience to support that advice. See. My dad didn't go to college. As a result, my dad wanted me to go to college. So I did. Why does this matter? Because plans change, that's why. And I am so glad I took my dad's advice and went to college. Because this simple change in my plan would lead to new opportunities with new people and ultimately to the best experiences of my life so far. Work. Each summer after school let out, I came home to Minnesota and worked for a local beverage distributor where I learned about work. That's a heck of a four letter word and one of my favorites. My students today hear the word work and immediately think work equals FD cosine of theta. When I hear the word work, I think about hot summer days spent jumping on and off of semi trucks, hauling hundreds of pounds worth of bottles and cans up and down stairs, in and out of coolers, delivering beer and soda around the state of Minnesota. I loved that work because I got to break a sweat, crank up the Pearl Jam in the truck, and see a job go from just starting to totally finished every day. I love seeing a task through to completion, no matter how large or small the task is. If COVID-19 has taught us anything, then I would hope it has taught us how important work is to our everyday lives. I want to encourage all of you to find work that you enjoy. Ask your families about their work. For many of them, you were the work, and your graduation is the reward at the end of an 18 year long project. I had a hunch this work wasn't going to be my life's work, so when each summer ended, I was excited to go back to UND. After three years on campus, the call to serve in the military was so great that I took the fall semester off and enlisted in the Army. This was my attempt to resume that plan I had as a high school senior and see it through now. However, the Army had a different plan and they offered me different work. They made me an 88 Mike instead. Now, 88 Mike is Army jargon, which means transportation specialist. What it really means is weed puller, lawnmower, trash collector, floor polisher, and occasionally truck driver. While I was at basic training, 9-11 happened. The new war stalled our training so significantly that by the time I got to advanced individual training, there was no way I was gonna make it back to school in time for the start of spring semester. Thank goodness for that summer job I had driving semi-trucks. My instructors recognized that I knew my way around the 915, FMTV, and Hemet, and they let me graduate from training early and head back to UND for my senior year of college. What I experienced at advanced, indiv in advanced individual training is called luck, another four letter word. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. It can be frustrating when the plan changes, but thanks to work and luck, I was back at UND for the start of school and was introduced to my next favorite four letter word, the F word, fail. I believe that with each fail in our life, we are led toward a new opportunity where our previous preparations make us ready to accept new challenges, and with those challenges, new successes. For many people, failure is the beginning of the end, a reason to quit. I disagree. You see, fail simply means first attempt in learning. I encourage you to open your mind to the lessons life has to teach you and instead of seeing changes to your plan and your work as a fail, see it as a new opportunity to do something different. In college, 
I failed to become the first doctor in the family. It just wasn't for me. Instead, I wanted to become a different kind of servant leader. The military and teaching have been the right opportunities for me. There are many other examples of failure in my life, and I would say more about them tonight, but we only have so much time this evening. And one of the best things about failure is that it's universal. Every single one of your teachers has experienced failure. Same with your coaches, same with your families. Ask them about their failures, and then make sure you ask what they did next. My failure to settle into a medical school track opened up a new opportunity. My senior year of college, the Army decided I should become an officer. This meant extending my time as an undergraduate. But I was a good soldier, and since listening to my dad's advice had worked out so well, I decided to follow my commanding officer's advice. I signed an ROTC contract and started a new plan. Upon graduation from college and the Transportation Officer Basic course, my wife and I were lucky enough to move to Alaska. Yes, luck afforded us the opportunity. I was originally assigned to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. <laughs> and having been there and done that, I had no further interest in Oklahoma, even if it meant I'd never get to meet Joe Exotic. Shortly after moving to Alaska, it was time for my unit to deploy to Iraq. During those 15 months, I learned about another favorite four-letter word, live. In Iraq, I worked as an operations and mortuary affairs officer at Forward Operating Base Cal Sioux. Every day I was there, I made a plan, and I followed through with the work so that all of my soldiers that I was responsible for could live. And thanks to a whole lot of luck, we did. I wish I could say this was true for all those men and women I went to war with. Their sacrifice is just one of the many motivations I carry with me each day to live the most full, examined, and substantive life I can. You must do the same, but not for the same reasons I do. You must live your life for you, for reasons you may know now and for reasons you'll probably discover over the next few years. You must seek opportunities that fulfill and enrich your life so that yours is a life well lived. How you do that is what makes each of you and the paths your lives will take unique. Who knows? Maybe you'll find your way into a teacher preparation program, and maybe one day you will be giving this address. If you're going to heed any of this advice, then you will need a fuel that is limitless. In college, I was fueled by coffee. In the Army, I was fueled by coffee. And every day of the school year, I am fueled by coffee. Though coffee has its power, it's not something that sustains. You'll need the same fuel that brings each of us teachers back to the classroom year in and year out. Hope. This is my last favorite four-letter word. Hope is what allows us to adapt when our plan changes, work hard and enjoy it, and live a life full of purpose. Eddie Vedder could not have been more correct when he wrote, everything has changed. Absolutely nothing's changed. Yes, you've graduated high school and accomplished something great, but the real tests are just beginning. The most important lessons lay in front of you, not behind. And you're being launched into a world full of changing plans and changed lives. Your ability to plan, work, fail, and live will be limited only by your hope that the work we do today is worthwhile, even though we don't always see the results until much later. In closing, graduates of 2020, your teachers, administrators, counselors, coaches, and parents are all so proud of you and your achievements. We look forward to watching you work your plan, love your work, live your life, and embrace all the failure and luck that comes your way. Go get them, Moose. And lastly, Madeline Park and Allison Werner have prepared for us a slideshow. 
I thank you, Maddie and Allie, for all of your hard work over the last few months in putting this together for us seniors to see. As for me, I'd just like to thank you all for being here. Although not literally, I appreciate you all for dedicating the time to honor the Palmer High School Class of 2020 in this unique way. I'm looking forward to some crazy fun class reunions. Unfortunately, they didn't give me enough caps to throw for each and every one of us, but let's just pretend that they did.
Class of 2020, ladies and gentlemen, as Principal of Palmer High, I hereby verify that the students before you have met and in most cases exceeded the requirements as set forth by the Madnuskas who sit in a borough school district and the state of Alaska and are thus eligible to receive the documents we will present to them. School board member Jim Hart, will you please accept this class? Principal Reed, as a school board member of the Matanuska Susitna Borough School District, I hereby proudly accept the Palmer High School Class of 2020. Performing the roll call for our seniors this evening, we will have Palmer High School Counselor Extraordinaire, Ms. Jenny Vanderwill. Okay, let the roll call begin. Carson Helm. Mara Ruth Dittbrender. Bailey Jordan Montana Peterson. Michael D. Foote, Jr. Harley Joe Pyra. Nathan Acey. Donna Till. Kale Joseph Winder. Gavin Gordon. Hannah Kilborn. Keegan Jacob Norman. April Nichols. Jaden T. Nichols. James Rogers. Madison Metzler, Sarah Rose Umatuk, Perrin Britt, Tabia Shepler, Lucas Morton, Dina Ann McNutt, Blake Randall Owens, Megan Brianne Grogan, Brigham Dean, Zoe Madison Gaynor Murphy, Jace Coburn, Janie Bessie, Luke Dittbrender, Megan Jean Helgeson, Nick Young, Brenda Kelly, Ethan Bleakney, Elsa Genevieve Biddle, Dylan Thomas Hose, Grace Alexandria Strawn, Anthony Espinoza, Lacey Mary Elizabeth Doan McInnes, Peyton Weaver, Allison Werner, Levi Joshua Miller, Jordan Marie Ralston, Tobin Jack Huschauer, Allison Lutz, Errol Summit, Taylor Gephardt, Wade Keyes, Rachel Farley, Rosemary Toro, Brannon Tyler Shipley, Maria Beck, Brianna Alexandra Antijunti, Lydia Ortiz, Aurora Davidson, Zoe Nellis, Dustin Corbin, Ethan T. Kopp, Emily Mack, James Tyler Linder, Zoe Tamika Kopp. Kristen Melissa Beams. Madeline Leingang. Kaylin Ronnie. Larissa Smith. Thomas Guerin. Lexis Yashik. Ivy Underhill. Isabel Bailey. Kai H. Taylor. Levi David Kirby. Jacob Lechaminant, Caitlin Sargent, Peyton Portney, Sean Henry, Aramaya Simi Paolalo, Gabriel Dickens, Nina Rose Kalachuk, Irvin P. Cutright IV, Jackson A. Cree, Taylor Ray Silva, Gracie Solstice Payne, Dayton Gatewood, Justice Darby, Rachel Cooper, Nikayla Chambers, Cyrus Larson, Joshua Gibson, Grace Riddell, Cecil Larson, Bailey Sandvik, Hayden Morin, Chase McNutt, Madeline May Park, Madison Mitchell Huckabee, Lance Joseph Plummer, 
Alina Ostmeyer, Dalton Collins, Stormy Carlisle McKee, Giovanna Ippolito, Natalie Angel Ruth Swanson, Garrett David Creer, Yugosak Gregory Marshall Ripke, Jaden Osloxen, Elissa DeVore, Chandra Nicole Cutsforth, Hunter Olson, Sophia Nowers, Jada Vroman, William Moss, Iris Jane Keir, Scott Shelton, Jordan Ashley Fuller, Christopher Philip Cranston Stuckey, Ryan Buswell, James Logan Denman, Avery K. Atkins, Kylie Ann Bryant, Aurora Till, Braden Allen Vanderweel, Tiernan O'Rourke, Leah Christensen, Destiny Sage Querpel, Sarah Woody, Sigva'a Bodhi Tafito, Emily Elizabeth Ann Grover, Olivia Lundeen, Josh Villanueva, Luke Anthony Tyson, Hannah Ann Grace Graham, Emily Jacobson, Kelsey Geese, Caleb DePriest, Taylor Oldham, Dawson Van Tassel, Amy Wells, Trenton Gage Callis, Morgan Skye, Tyler Hirschman, Day Oshinsky, Sophia Benshetler, Madison Rose Droddy, Cassidy Hampton, Mitchell Phipps, LeVar Marshall, Samuel Andrew, Veronica Ariola, Jaden Christensen, Logan Cruz, Jacob Daniel, Timberly Davis, Ilir Dementiev, Nika Dementiev, Jude Franklin, Justice Gutierrez, Lauren Halberg, Torin Hess, Peyton Howe, Sierra Hume, Jalen Henry, Marie Antoinette Jordan, Easton Armstrong, Cheyenne Kimler, Frank Kolorok, Rafe Lawton, Michael Lovejoy, Amakak McLean, Benjamin McLean, Jesse Monroe, William Nichols, Kobe Pack, Christy Patterson, Grace Piersma, Ludo Pintor, Sabrina Pletnikoff, Marianne Ransdell, Christopher Rich, Tyler Renteria, Nakona Rousseau, Colton Saunders, Oral Satiawan, Stella Shukogruk, Brady Schultz, Billy Smith, Rochelle Turgus, Riley Vicarious, Jaron Wood, Alan Zirkel. Seniors, I ask that you work with me in this virtual format. Please stand. Now, move your tassels from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the newest alumni of Palmer High School. Congratulations, class of 2020. 